Hello YouTube. This is a little video on. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to answer some, clear up some of these questions on what all will you lose when you install a Terminator X sniper, uh, Dominator, whatever, onto a 9495 Mustang. Will your gauges work? Your turn signals, all that stuff. This will apply to a Fox body as well. Also apply to the modular engines. Uh, you just have to make some slight changes when you get into those. Actually, the 9495 is easier uh, because of this this single connector. The Fox body is going to have the salt and pepper shakers, and those are uh, are a big problem. So, if you want him to, the best way probably to go about it would be to eliminate those and just keep the four wires you need. And I had one here somewhere. Just install a four four-way connector and eliminate those completely but I, I'll show you what, what what has to be done first let me say leave your leave your computer harness in the car don't don't touch it there's no reason to you don't even need to remove the kick panel Just leave all that in place for now you can go back later and clean it up if you want but actually you can tuck it away and and whatnot and there's really just no reason to mess with it uh, if you do, then this, this system may not work because this connector for the injector harness uh, flows through there. Okay, I've already stripped the loom, as you can see. These old 30-year-old harnesses are, are rough. But I, I, I've already stripped the loom, and I'm, I'm just going to go through and sort out the couple of wires that have to be kept to keep your gauges working. By leaving that computer harness in place, half your gauges are going to work anyway. You're only going to lose you're going to lose half of them through this section. First thing we'll locate will be it's a red and white wire, and this one I believe this one's an oil pressure sensor connector the coolant temperature sensor connector is the same this one's coolant temp it's a little smaller oil pressure oil, uh, oil pressure sensor the hole would be a little bit bigger it, it looks pretty much the same one's a red with wire with white stripe the other's white with red but I, I'll push those two aside okay those are those are here Okay. The only other wires we're concerned with are is a coil connector. If you're going to use a TFI, if you're going to use a TFI system, you don't need to do anything here. You can use this one's broke, so I, I would replace it anyway. But basically, you don't need to do anything to this connector. This one will get replaced with a standard, a standard manufacturer. And it already has the two on two uh, coil negatives. So all you're going to do to connect to the TFI adapter, the, the TFI adapter is going to plug into the Holly harness. The other end is going to plug into the TFI. You're going to have one white wire that's loose. It needs to go to coil negative. So this connector is perfect for that. You just connect to here. You're done there. Plug these in. If you're going to use a, a Holly ignition system, the dual sink, uh, whatever, then you don't you don't need this connector at all. You just cut these wires. Use the positive side to power your Holly ignition system. It's a true ignition switched 12 volt, so that's perfect for power. The other wires actually just go straight to the tachometer, straight to the gauge. So use the output wire on your uh, Holly system connected to this wire then your tachometer works.
that's the connector that I would use to replace. That's a three-way, but you would need a four-way. That's what I replace those uh, salt and pepper shakers with. These harnesses are relatively cheap and easy to find, so I'm not going to depin it and and save it. I've, I've got several of these out in the shop, so I, I'm just going to do a little work on it. I'll cut the short wire off. I also cut this uh, this hot wire that went to the radio radio static condenser. Okay, I'll pull I'll pull these back. Try to get this where I can see it. I, I don't have a cameraman. So okay. Now I have the coil wires, I have the coolant temp sensor and the oil pressure sensor wire separated. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these to clean things up a little bit. That's all we're left with. Okay, at this point, I can pull these, pull these little red locks out, and I can depin the rest of this harness. Just be careful that you don't depin the wires you're keeping, or you'll have to go through the headache of uh, putting them back where they belong. That's all you're left with. Other than connecting the one wire here to go to your TFI adapter, it's ready to run. Everything will work. Uh, everything ignition wise. Ignition and gauges will work. You still have to do, you have to spend a couple of minutes to hook one wire to the um, if you're running a stock fuel pump, you'll have to connect one wire to the, a wire over at the CCRM. The CCRM is good to get rid of anyway because there's nothing but problems. You can't get a good one anymore. Once I, once I uh, depin this, I depin these short wires, I loom this up nice with some of the Holly style loom so it looks like the rest of the harness and then uh, I'll come back and I'm going to use one of these it's a, it's a single wire connector I, I use that to make a connection to the TFI adapter and like I said I'll use a standard version to replace that broken broken coil plug and gives me the other wire so, uh, so actually this will end up on here and the other end will end up on, on the TFI adapter. Let me get that loomed up and I'll come back. Okay, here, 
it's just a quick job. I didn't have any of the split loom in one eight there. It's just all all of mine is solid, and rather than cut the ends off and and slide it on and recramp and all that, I just uh, left those open. But this this is ready to go in the car. Everything will work. That will connect to the TFI adapter. That will plug into the coil, and you're done there. You're ready to go. One important step I did leave out. I should have said it first thing is that in order to make this method work as you've probably seen in some of my videos we installed the Terminator X uh, through the driver's side firewall there's not enough room to uh, feed it along with the uh, OE harness through the hole that's uh, located up inside the inner fender well on the passenger side it, it, also, also, if you do run one that way, the harness will come up a little bit short. Uh, it'll be tough to tough to make it fit good. The uh, kits, the harness is really intended for Fox bodies, and the Fox body goes through the firewall closer over toward the engine. So, if you go through there, uh, the inner fender with a regular uh, harness, it'll it'll come up a little short. It'll make it hard for you to connect things. You see, I pulled the connectors, I depinned. That's all ready to go. That's all there to it. Everything will work. One thing you have to connect one wire to your uh, CCRM for the fuel pump. You'll have to connect. Uh, you, you can usually use a fan relay kit, and, or you can connect it through the CCRM. But I really don't recommend using it. I recommend using nice new relays. Uh, using this method also. It's easy to diag. When you have a problem with, you're going to have all new Holly wires to begin with. Everything's going to be going to be new. So if you have a, a problem uh, of how the engine runs, maybe uh, you know which harness it's located in. If you have a problem with the coolant temp temperature sensor gauge, you know it's in this harness. So it makes things a lot easier to work with. Uh, and if anybody's, this is not even wiring, this is just connecting a couple of wires, it, it's, it's not even what you call wiring. But it, I hate to hurt anybody's feelings, but to be honest, if you're that concerned with doing wiring, you really shouldn't install one of these systems on your car. Because if the car is stock, it, it's not going to run better with the Holly Terminator. It's not going to run quite as good, actually. It's, it's not as refined. Uh, anything you do to that you add on, you're gonna, it's going to require a, a, a small amount of wiring. That, that's just the nature of these systems. So, uh, I mean, if, if you're just a, a totally scared of at least a little bit of wiring, you, you're better off stay with something, you know, stay with something stock. Because uh, anything you hook up, it's going to require at least a little bit of wiring. I hope that helps someone. If you have any questions, uh, just email me or, or send me a message, whatever, on uh, YouTube, leave a comment. Or call me. My phone number is listed on the website. Uh, I hope that helps. Thanks.